Dotting the hillside of North Palm Springs, a panorama of wind farm after wind farm is truly a sight to behold. Serene yet powerful, hundreds of wind turbines provide a much needed source of natural energy to California's San Gorgonio Pass region and beyond. The benefits of wind energy in California is that it's a clean, green, renewable source of energy. We don't clear mountaintops, we don't punch holes in the ground, we certainly aren't dependent upon foreign governments for our energy sources. Currently, wind farms account for 10% of power in California and approximately 1% power throughout the U.S. What we're really looking for in wind energy is a national energy policy. You know, certainly the renewable portfolio standards that we have are going to help, but wind energy in California could supply 20% of California's power made right here in the state. And this can be translated throughout the United States, that not only wind, but solar, geothermal, and hydropower that's homegrown could supply all our energy needs. As a result, new companies are being formed to come up with innovative technologies that will provide renewable energy solutions well into the future. With a passion to improve and expand wind energy and other renewable energy technologies, environmental entrepreneur and inventor Richard Burke and business executive Donna Cunningham formed Windera Power Systems, Inc., a technology-driven company in 2006. Windera has some truly unique technology. Richard Burt has developed an innovative direct drive variable speed generator solution that enables wind farm owners for the first time to cost effectively extend the useful life of their wind turbines. For wind farm owners, wind turbine manufacturers and the state organizations charged with increasing the use of renewable energy, that's good news. As a manager of this wind farm and the developer for future projects, my goal each month is to produce the maximum amount of energy possible in the most efficient and cost-effective manner. Historically, gearboxes have been a primary point of failure, resulting in additional maintenance costs. The failures are due to the tremendous forces placed upon them and lack of understanding of those forces on the earlier turbine models of the 80s and 90s. The first and second generation wind turbines use conventional electric generators that operate at fixed speeds and produce usable electricity when wind speeds are sufficiently strong. The newer turbines of today have power electronics allowing for variable speeds but still use expensive gearboxes. The San Gorgonio Pass area located between the cool ocean and hot desert is an ideal location for capturing wind due to the rising hot desert air and the cooler air rushing in to replace it. My project has 224 existing wind turbines and I'm developing another 50 turbines for a total of 150 megawatts. I'm always interested in new technologies such as Windera's because I'm always looking to lower my maintenance costs and make projects more profitable. The advantages are many. Our turbine can operate at variable speeds while producing constant frequency, voltage and conditioned power at extremely high efficiencies without the use of a gearbox or an inverter. Replacing existing wind turbine generators and their associated gearboxes, Windera's generator converts the wind turbine to a more efficient direct drive drivetrain. It consists of a mainframe assembly, a stationary stator and movable rotor. The mainframe assembly serves as the main support for the stator rotor assembly and control system. Each stator pole includes a four-stage winding and electronic relays that are controlled by the generator's control system. This enables the electronic characteristics of the stator to dynamically change during operation. The rotor consists of a cylindrical body which fits within the stator and contains multiple winding blocks. As the rotor rotates, a magnetic field passes through the stator windings and generates power. The generator's control system has a central processing unit. It receives input data from four main sources, the RPM speed sensor, the grid sine wave sensor, the stator sine wave sensor, and the power factor sensor. The central processing unit also receives temperature, vibration, and output load information from the generator's mainframe assembly. The central processing unit uses this information to supply a control signal to the high-speed amplifier which controls the rotor and to the electronic relays which control the stator windings. This ensures that the generator's output remains stable and in synchronization with the electric grid. What makes it even more unique is its modular construction. 
New technologies in wind are really crucial for its growth. You know, we started out in the early 80s with a very small, inefficient wind turbine. Today, what you see behind me are kind of the Lexus of wind turbines. So the technology keeps on getting better, we keep on getting more efficient, and we get more use out of the wind. Windera Power Systems envisions a very bright future for the energy market. We believe that there will be major offshore wind farms stretching from Florida all the way up to Maine. The wind turbines will be in the 7 to 10 megawatt range and will be tied to a large offshore grid. That grid will be connected to several major East Coast cities. We at Windera are preparing to become a part of that market. To learn more, log on to www.winderapower.com or call 904-553-6627.